So thank you so much to all the people who've commented and liked and subscribed and uh, interacted with my little efforts here. It's been a uh, heartfelt thank you for that. Please feel free, free to subscribe if you haven't. That'd be wonderful. Um, people have obviously been suggesting I did I, I did ask you to guess what I was having in place of this lovely little Enfield and um, people have been suggesting what I might go for the only real hint that I gave was it's, it's almost like a big brother to this it's got a lot in common with this it is still it's still a classic bike that's what I wanted a traditional classic bike with, with a bit of heritage about it and uh, but it's just got a bit more power that's what I'm after just a bit more power you know a bit more power on the hills and a bit more power for going on the motorways and dual carriageways a bit more for overtaking that's that's what I really wanted and uh, I think I hopefully fingers crossed that's what I've got um, now what I'm going to do I'm going to take you down here because down here I thought oh, well, I thought how can I introduce this uh, this little I think it's this one yeah let's go down here I thought how can I introduce this new bike to uh, to you you wonderful people out there in YouTube land and I thought I know what I'll do because just down here I mean you've been through here with me before for my regular subscribers but just down here there's there's a tunnel and what's special about it is 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 a it's like a magic tunnel because well what's magic about it here you say there's nothing magic about the tunnel oh, there's this one because I'll tell you what's up with this one you go in one end on the uh, on one bike in this case it could be a little Royal Enfield classic chrome bronze and when you come out on the other you're on another what about that then what about that you know what I'm like for changing my mind if I change my mind I could turn around the other end couldn't I? come back and be back on my chrome bronze again hey <laughs> that'd be all right but anyway so I'm going to take you through this tunnel so bear with me just indulge me a bit now I'm not Steven Spielberg but I'm just going to try something in here and see if it works if it don't work you won't even see this but if it has worked reasonably successfully then I'll put it on and uh, so what I'll do um, we can go in the tunnel in on this we can come out of the tunnel on something else and then I'll find somewhere park up and I'll just do a brief introduction to it I'll show you what we've got show you where we're going moving forward like I said before I'm, I'm almost certain you know that people have been commenting said oh you'll miss it and you, you know you'll regret it you know I, I, I get that completely and I suspect you're right but I've made the decision I want a bit more and at the moment that's what I'm going to do but I don't think it will be the last uh, Royal Enfield Classic 350 or Bullet I might go for a Bullet next time you know when finances allow which hopefully won't be too long um, I can see my new bike having a having a little Indian friend in the garage next to it so uh, stay tuned anyway we get through the tunnel shortly so we uh, so just indulge me run with this and let's see what I come at let's see if you were right let's see if you were right magic tunnel 
Look what we've got now. So most of you will probably have guessed by now. For those that can't tell, first of all, a big thank you to everybody who's played the game, this little game that I've been on. I've, uh, I haven't half drawn it out, haven't I? But there you go. Um, thank you to all the people that have been guessing. I've had some great comments. Um, so what we've got, we've got a Triumph T100 it's a special edition it's a used one it's 2020 and uh, very pleasing it is too so what we'll do we'll uh, we'll carry on riding just for the moment and then in a bit i'll take you up to the uh, bowling green where i've taken you for them we'll, we'll have a quick walk around it i won't go into mega detail i don't really intend to do a, re uh, a review as such just yet because i mean i hardly know the bike i've had a test ride i've decided that yeah that's for me and uh, i bought it and uh, yeah it's very pleasing but i'll give you a full walk and all in i don't know a month's time when i've uh, when I've got, when I've properly come to grips with it. What I will say is that I certainly didn't buy it because it's a Bud Edkin special edition. I bought it because there it was in the showroom. It was the right price. It was the right deal. And I thought, yeah, that'll do for me. A T100 is, is, is marvellous. Um, I can tell you a little bit about Bud Edkins though. I've, I've researched him since. Some of the American viewers will know who he was. But here in the UK, I, I wasn't aware, maybe I'm just ignorant, maybe most people do know who he is. But I didn't know who Bud was. Now apparently what he was in the 60s, he was quite a famous American uh, motocross and desert racer. Um, he got involved with, the, I believe, the first American team to go to the uh, International Six Days Trials. Did very well at that. Uh, with his mate Steve McQueen. And um, there you are, I've, I've mentioned somebody now, haven't I, that we've all heard of. Now Steve, now Bud, Bud went on to run a Triumph dealership in California, a place called Sherman Oaks. And it was the big, I think it was certainly the biggest selling Triumph dealer in America. And it was, I th think I saw somewhere, it, in one year, I think it was 1965, something like that, it was the biggest selling, it more moved, they, he moved more Triumph motorbikes than anywhere else in the world. So that's how important he was to Triumph. And of course, Steve McQueen was into his bikes and he got involved with Bud and was uh, spent a lot of time up, up at the dealership and got to know him. And um, I think Bud took him under his wing a little bit. And he went on years later, a few years later, uh, during the Great Escape, they needed somebody to do that famous jump. Yeah, this one. Okie dokie, so let's have a look around it. We've got a Triumph T100 uh, 2020. Um, first of all, a couple of uh, special mentions. One goes to the Northern Classic Rider, who pre correctly <laughs> predicted that the Triumph T100 was incoming. And the second one goes to Gerbs, who uh, said on a previous video a few weeks about the weight and power of the Royal Enfield, and he said he knew it to come, and uh, he said he should have put a bet on it, Ladbrooks. Well, I wish he had, because he'd be a winner by now. But, and I've also got a final special mention to alias Mr. Hackenbacker, who not only got it right, but he, he correctly predicted that it would be coming from Staffordshire Triumph. So he was absolutely bang on the money, and, uh, and here it is. So what we've got, we've got a Triumph T100, Bud Ickins Special Edition 2020. We'll just have a quick walk around because I'm sure most of you are pretty conversant with the uh, with the Bonneville. Um, and let me know what you think of the choice, whether you think it's a good move, a bad move, or what. Um, I'm not saying I'm, I'm forever going to be Enfieldless. That's not what I'm saying at all. I do fully intend to return to the fold sooner rather than later, but for the moment. 
this just gives me a bit more power than the uh, than the Royal Enfield had. So we've got a twin cylinder water cooled engine, 900 cc, or a 55 brake horse powers. It's a high torque engine, so it's got loads and loads and loads of grunt from down low, whatever gear you happen to be in. Um, 80 newton meters of torque, so 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 it really pulls from nothing. Five speed gearbox, 18 inch front wheel, um, and we've got a single 310 mil disc brake on that with twin pot Nissan calipers and on the rear we've got a single caliper again um, 255 mil um, we have a 790 mil seat height so that's about the same as the Royal Enfield Classic um, I'm six foot tall plant both feet quite firmly on the ground feels quite safe although I do I will say that it's got a a dry weight of 213 kilos which isn't so much more than the classic but you do feel it it does feel heavier now um, putting it on its centre stand this one did come with a centre stand putting it on the centre stand is um, a little bit of a maul because there's nowhere really to grab at the back of the bike but so it's a bit of a struggle to get it on its centre stand, but what do you think? Pretty thing? Um, what else can I tell you? So this is the Bud Ickins Special Edition. Uh, some of the American viewers will know who Bud Ickins was over here in the UK. Um, I certainly had to research him, and we'll go, that is deserving of another, another vlog, another time. Spend a bit more time on that. This is just a quick walk around of the bike to show what we've got does have bar and mirrors does have heated grips got the beautiful standard sort of brush steel bonneville clocks and uh What do you think? Monza fuel cap. And it looks exactly what it is. A triumph through and through. So I'm going to leave it there for this one. Thank you so much for everybody who has um, offered their opinions on uh, on this bike. They've guessed what was incoming. Most of the guesses revolved around, uh, I think it's fair to say most people thought a Gold Star was incoming or maybe a bigger uh, Royal Enfield, maybe a Super Meteor or a shotgun. Well, maybe in the future, who knows? But for the moment, this is where, where we are. So I'm going to leave it there for this one now. Thank you so much for joining me and um, commenting, liking, subscribing. Please feel free to make a comment below about what you think, what you think of the choice. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. So until then, ride safe and watch out for the potholes and the lunatic drivers. And uh, see you soon. Bye. <laughs>